on this section we already applied <coughs> more beneficials because if you see a spot like this very loaded with spider mites you can be sure that you have spider mites somewhere over there for sure because when people work with these plants it's very easy for them to transfer them to right to the other end so if you find one or two or three spots in a greenhouse like that it's better if you do we call it blanket treatment blanket treatment it's when you apply beneficial insects a little bit on each plant and in this particular section we already had like five or six spots see right here have more plants a big number of spider mites so we had to put some extra beneficials so that's the perfect method to control harmful insects so you don't have to use crazy sprays And for the blanket treatment, we can use the same bug, Phytocelius persimilus, or you can use another kind that is not so aggressive, but it has ability to survive for a longer time and it can feed on pollen. If there is no spider mites, this bug can eat pollen and survive longer time. This bug, this this is also a mite, beneficial mite, and it's called Amblisius californicus. So check my website for the pictures and description of this bug. You can't see it really on the bottle, but it also comes in 2,000 mites per bottle, 200 milliliters bottle. And what we do, we put just a little bit of them on each plant. And in this case, we we're sure that we have our small warriors everywhere in the greenhouse. So if if somebody would work in this section and transfer mites to the other end we know we have helpers everywhere so they might take care of them so that's that's an update today I wanted to show you the first pest that we got in the greenhouse so the reason why we got them so early could be that they survived overwintered in the greenhouse in little cracks or under plastic somewhere around the post because they start to hide very early in August or September so and if there was not enough bugs before that and like I said we don't spray pesticides on this crop so there is bigger chance that some of those mites could survive so they came up very early as I mentioned in the previous video, we had really nice weather, very good weather, but lots of light. So they come up earlier, they wake up and start to go and feed on plants. And we have to take care of them. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you later. Bye!